everyone. I I try not to complain about Lego too much, but this just kind of this sucks. If you haven't seen videos or articles or whatnot about the Lego ATT Walker being delayed, well, I don't know where you've been. You've probably been living under a rock, but here we are. The Lego ATT Walker has been delayed, and um, after doing some research, I think I know. I mean, there's a pretty good theory out there. Uh, first off, I just want to say. <laughs> Why? No, God! I hate it when when people just like try to do things like you know just like under the radar, hoping that no one will notice. And the the only reason why I don't know, maybe maybe the reason why we haven't been officially notified that's been delayed is because maybe Lego doesn't know yet, but they put comments. I, I feel like they shouldn't have changed the website though. But then it's like. Rock. You kind of just like, what's what's the saying? Like rock in a hard place or whatever the heck it is. The other LEGO Star Wars sets this year, August 1st release date still, except the ATT Walker. And we gotta ask, why? And we all know this isn't the first time LEGO has had supply issues. LEGO has had a horrible, horrible um, reputation when it comes to supply issues. Specifically, what I'm thinking of is Five of First Battle back in the Clone Trooper Command Station. But this one, it's just like, it's, it's, it's just very disappointing. Now there's a really good theory, and I, I just want to put out the theory that if this set is in fact delayed, which it seems like 99% likely, that LEGO might be trying, like the reason why it's delayed is because of the supply problem, which I don't know why LEGO just didn't assume. That the ADT Walker is going to be was going to be really big in production or really just out, like really popular and they needed to make more or maybe they did and something happened I don't know stuff happens but it, it, it seems like it would make sense <sighs> I mean I don't it would make sense I don't like it it would make sense if Lego is trying to stagger these release dates, uh, specifically in other countries, because it's only in America right now where the ATT Walker is delayed. So LEGO takes all of their stock of the ATT Walker that they were going to send to America, uh, and instead they're going to disperse it across the rest of the world so that there is uh, less of a stock issue. I don't know if it's storage space problem, I don't know if it's factory issues or just like the fact that Lego has grown so much, because if you're a company and you're growing like immensely, you need to make sure that you can meet the supply and meet the demand in which the consumer is given. If you have a business that's well suited to fit, let's say a million consumers, that's great. But once you start growing and you have 2 million consumers and you, if you don't change your facilities, if you don't change your business practices, you're going to fall behind. I'm afraid this is what is happening to Lego. I don't think Lego is adapting quickly enough to the amount of people who are buying Lego. Because ever since Lego has been doing all these new things like uh, Lego Ideas, the 18 plus set lines, uh, new themes, just they've been going, they, Lego has just become such a more widespread company than they ever have been. And it's great that Lego's growing. It's just they need to learn how to match the supply and demand. And I am a little offended that that Lego, the first country that Lego chooses to delay the ADT Walker is America. It's not like Europe or or Asia or Australia or whatever. Like it's it's just it's it's America, which kind of just is a little bit show it's kind of just showing how much lego cares about their consumer um uh, base in america what i'm assuming lego's gonna do is that they're gonna take all the stock from america disperse it to the rest of the world and then during the time from august 1st to whenever the heck we'll get the att walker in america they're gonna try to produce more save up stockpile then send it to a, a stores in america and to me that is a that's that's a awful solution the better solution is to just produce more of the set and if you have trouble with storage if you don't have if you have trouble with 
producing Lego or I don't know, is it workmanship or whatever? Like, just Lego's a multi billion dollar company. Like they they have it in their funds to make more factories, more facilities. Like I mean, we have the Lego headquarters here in America. It's in Connecticut. I mean, that's one headquarters for all of America, and there are constantly, constantly more and more Lego stores being built in America, all over the place. Like there needs, I think there needs to be a second headquarters, or at least there needs to be like, sure, keep the headquarters in Connecticut, but there needs to be like some place that is there just needs to be more america is so big you can't just have one headquarters from like like some of our states are bigger than european countries it's that it's like that so i think it has to just i think it's great the lego is like building more stores they're coming up with more ideas more concepts um incorporating more sets getting a wider audience but with a wider audience with more consumers comes more responsibility and more supply so I think that's what Lego's doing with delaying it in America. Um, and I'm just really all around disappointed that we're the ones getting the short end of the stick and not like, um, I don't know, not other countries. I mean, I, I understand Europe not getting the stick because I mean, Lego is in Europe, so there you go. But like, I mean, come on, like other country, other places, like. Why America, man? And I, I feel like Lego should know by now when it comes to supply. And you can't even you can't even blame it on COVID anymore. I mean, you, you just can't. COVID, I mean, people have been done with COVID for months now. And it's it's time that it's time that we get back on track, companies start figuring stuff out again. So it's definitely not the news I wanted to wake up to, but it was so there we go that's my take on it here at sawyer studios and i am so sorry this is what is happening i really was looking forward to that set on august 1st but hey if i don't um if the set doesn't come out what would be really bad if like it just doesn't give a release date like and it just shows up in stores that would be a mess uh, but anyway if i don't get the set august 1st which is looking like unfortunately uh, i will be doing a live stream of the att walker and i would like part of that live stream to be a hot stream which would be fun uh and depending on when they release it i might do it back in illinois so we'll see i was expecting to do it here with some friends but i guess not so there we are sorry studios like comment subscribe uh see you on the next video peace out